This is an actual JR pass. You use it to get on JR commuter trains or use it to get a reserved seat on express trains and bullet trains in Japan. Today, I'm going to share with you how the JR Pass works in real life and step by step how to use the JR Pass to reserve seats for the Shinkansen and for the Narita Express at the ticket machines so that you can avoid waiting in long line at the ticket counters. If you plan to travel to multiple cities in Japan, the JR Pass might be the best way to save money, at least for now, before its price goes up nearly 70% in October. We'll see if it's still worth buying then. Anyway, there are three ways you can buy a JR Pass. You can buy it before you come to Japan from a sales agency in your country or buy it online directly from the JR Group website or buy it at a JR service center after you arrive in Japan. If you buy the JR Pass from a sales agency before you come to Japan, you'll receive an exchange order like this. Then after you arrive in Japan, you need to come to a JR Travel Service Center to exchange for the actual JR Pass. If you buy it after you arrive in Japan, you get the actual JR Pass right away. By the way, not all JR ticket offices do the exchange for the JR Pass, so you need to check their website to see which places do and which don't exchange for the JR Pass. You don't want to waste your time lining up at a ticket counter just to find out that they don't issue the JR Pass there. So the way it works is, you use the JR Pass like a normal ticket at the ticket gates to get on normal trains or to use a non-reserved seat on a Shinkansen. No extra work is needed. Just insert the pass at the ticket gate to get on a train. But for express trains like the Narita Express and Shinkansen where a reserved seat is needed, you have to go to a ticket counter, show your JR Pass to the staff, and the staff will reserve and print out a reserved ticket for you before you can get on those trains. When you come to a JR Travel Service Center for the first time to exchange for the actual JR Pass, you can also ask them to print out tickets on an express train or Shinkansen for you. But if it's crowded, they're gonna just print out tickets of the first trip for you. And for the rest of your trips, you need to do the reservation on your own at the machines. There are different machines at the stations and you want to look for a machine that has the Shinkansen mark on it. So here's how you can use the JR Pass to get a reserved seat on a Shinkansen at a ticket machine. First of all, select English, then select the Japan Rail Pass menu on the bottom of the screen. You will see two options. The upper option is for those who already reserve seats online and just come to pick up the tickets. And the lower option is for you if you didn't reserve online in advance and want to reserve and print out the tickets now. Next, it will ask you the number of JR Pass holders. If it's only you, select one here. In the case of my friends, they are a family of four, so we are selecting four passengers here. After that, you'll need to scan the QR code on your JR Pass and enter the passport number that is correspondent to that JR Pass by the last four digits. And you need to enter the whole passport number, not just the last four digits. If you have more than one JR Pass holder, you have to scan the JR Pass and enter the passport number for each of the JR Pass holders one by one at this step. On the next step, you need to enter the name of the departure station. 
where you want to get on the Shinkansen. In this case, our departure station is Tokyo Station. And then enter the name of your arrival station. For us, it's Mishima Station in Shizuoka. Then you select your departure date and time and search for the trains by those conditions. After you select the train you want, you'll be able to select a seat from a seat map. Or if you have oversized luggage, you can select a seat with oversized luggage area on a seat map too. It's very flexible as you can change the car and change the seat as you prefer. After you check and confirm the details of the reservation, all tickets will be printed out. And here are the tickets for the Hikari Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Mishima Station that we booked from the machine. In total, the process just took us about 5 minutes to reserve and print out tickets for 4 JR Pass holders. And we didn't have to wait at all because there are so many machines at Tokyo Station. The JR Pass also covers the Narita Express, which you can use to go from Narita Airport to major stations in Tokyo Center and vice versa. But you cannot just use the JR Pass to get on the Narita Express, because all seats on this train are reserved ones. So you need to have a reservation before getting on the train, and here's how you can do it. You can use the same Shinkansen ticket vending machine and the process is also similar to reserving a Shinkansen ticket. After selecting the language, you select Japan Rail Pass menu. Select Train to use now and input the number of JR Pass users. And then scan your JR Pass QR code and input the whole number of your passport. After that, enter your departure station and arrival station. In this case, we are booking four seats on the Narita Express from Tokyo Station to Narita Airport Terminal 1 Station. Select the date and time of the train you want to take and search for the trains by those conditions. After selecting the train you want, you can select the seats you like from a seat map. Don't forget to check the details again before confirming to print out the tickets. And here are the Narita Express tickets we got after a few minutes at the machine. By the way, if you're booking the Narita Express from Tokyo Station, you'll see two trains departing at the same time. The reason is that there are one train coming from Yokohama and one train coming from Shinjuku and they will be connected to each other as one train to go to Narita Airport from Tokyo Station. So you can select either of them. Also, if you use the Narita Express to get to Narita Airport, as long as there's no change in schedule for your flight back home, try to reserve the Narita Express as soon as you can. You don't want to wait until the night right before the flight like we did. It didn't feel secured at all. So which ticket are you going to use at the ticket gate? The reserve ticket you get from the machine is just for you to know where you are going to sit on the train. You don't use it at the ticket gate. To pass the ticket gates, you always use the JR Pass. So that's how you use the JR Pass to reserve a seat on the Shinkansen and the Narita Express and ticket machines. If you're coming to visit Japan, check out how to do Japan's airport procedures online so that you can complete them from the comfort of your home even before your flight. It will make things faster at the airport in Japan. Even if you do the procedures online, you will receive this landing permission stamp at the immigration checkpoint. This is what you need to have in order to get the actual JR Pass. If by any chance you don't receive this stamp, ask for it at the immigration check. 
So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and special thanks to our friends TNL and their family for sharing their JR Pass experience with us. This video wouldn't be possible without your super kind cooperation. So thank you so much. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share to your friends, and consider subscribing to my channel to help me create more useful contents. Until my next one, take care and have a nice day.